Number 92. Use the periodic table to give the name and symbol for each of the following elements. And then I have A through D. So let me just quickly write that over on the, we'll do it on the left side this time. I like to switch it up. So A, B, C, and D. Okie dokie. Now we need the name and the symbol for an element that's being described in A and D, A through D. So just know that the symbol is the one or two letter code based on the element. So for example, nickel would be N-I, um, and beryllium would be B-E, and nitrogen would just be N. All right? So let's get to work. It says A, we want to know what the halogen in the same period as the alkali metal with 11 protons. So first things first, we're talking about periods here. Periods on the periodic table always run from left to right. Remember, groups are the ones that go up and down. So for example, this whole group, well, this whole row would be classified as period number four. This whole group would be classified as group number 13 because it's going up and down. All right. So they want to specifically know what halogen is in the same period. So going from left to right with the alkali metal with 11 protons. All right. Well, where's the halogen group? Halogen groups are always group 17. It's the second to last group. So that starts with fluorine and goes all the way down to 80, right? Astenine. Just remember that this is not part of the halogens as of yet. IUPAC still needs to, you know, uh, do more characterizations on this element. So as of right now, it's not part of the halogen group. Maybe in years from now when they finalize it, it would be. But as of right now in 2020, it is not. So I'm just going to put that over here. This is your halogens. Okay. So now where are your alkali metals, right? Your alkali metals are group one. So another thing, another group that you have to memorize. And notice that I didn't include hydrogen, right? It only starts from lithium and goes all the way down to francium. So I'm just going to put this over here. These are your alkali. And I'll just put M here for metals. Hydrogen is not part of alkali metals because hydrogen is a non-metal. So it cannot be classified as a alkali metal, right? Because it's a non-metal. And which one has 11 protons? Well, that's the atomic number. Remember, the atomic number is always the number of protons. So it looks like it's going to be sodium, right? Sodium has the 11 protons, atomic number of 11. So now we just got to figure out... Which halogen is in the same period? Well, if I go across the period, period number three, the halogen would be chlorine. Simple as that. So they want the name and the symbol. So for A, it would be chlorine, C-H-L-R-I-N-E, and then C-L would be the symbol. That's the answer to the first part. B, they want to know what's the alkaline earth metal in the same period, so going from left to right, with the neutral noble gas with 18 electrons. All right, so here's two more groups that they're talking about. Where are the alkaline earth metals and what noble gas are they talking about that has 18 electrons? So first let's do that part. Noble gases, we should know, is all the way on the right-hand side. It starts from helium and goes all the way down to radon. The same reasoning behind why TS is not part of the halogens, OG is not part of the noble gases. They still need to do, um, you know, more testing. Okay, IUPAC at least. So now, which noble gas are they talking about? Are they talking about helium or neon, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera? They're telling you that it's the neutral noble gas that has 18 electrons. And if it's neutral, that means that the electrons has to equal the number of protons. Right? So they should be the same. So 18 electrons equals 18 protons. So if I scan my noble gases, which one has the atomic number of 18? Oh, it's argon, right? There it is. So now that's what we're starting with. And they say that it's on the same period. So I'm going to go this way, right? But which element is it? Well, it's part of the alkaline earth metals. Where is that group? That's group two. 
And that goes from beryllium all the way down to radium. So all of this is part of your alkaline, I'll just put earth E M, alkaline earth metals. So which one is it? It's on the same period, so it would be magnesium. Pretty simple, right? Pretty straightforward. So magnesium, magnesium, and the symbol is MG. That's the answer for B. Let me just make that a little bit. Okay, perfect. There you go. Next, we want the noble gas in the same row as an isotope with 30 neutrons and 25 protons. All right, so we need to find a noble gas that's in the same row as the isotope with 30 neutrons and 25 protons. What element is this? We could always find the element from its atomic number. And the atomic number, I'll just put it up here. I'll just put it as a number. The atomic number is always equal to just the number of protons. So I don't even care about the number of neutrons. That's not going to tell me anything about what the element actually is, but the protons will tell me. This one has 25 protons. So I have to scan the periodic table to find that 25 is manganese. It's right here, right? They're saying which noble gas is in the same row. And remember, rows go from left to right as well. Columns go up and down. So a row is the same thing as a period. Okay, so we're looking in the noble gas category. So that's this uh, group right here. Which one is it? It's got to be in the same period, got to be in the same row. So it would be krypton, number 36. So that would be the answer for C, krypton. K-R-Y-P-T-O-N. And symbol is K-R. That one's done. And then last but not least, D. They want the noble gas in the same period as gold. Okay, well, where's gold on the periodic table? Gold is AU. So that's all the way down here. It's in the same period, so it's got to be from left to right, and it's a noble gas. And we just said before that the noble gases are here. So if I scan this, it's got to be radon, RN. That's as simple as that, right? So this is radon, R-A-D-O-N, and the symbol is R-N, and we are finished. So, yeah, I mean, this one was pretty simple, right? If you want more practice like this, go back to number 91 if you haven't done that already. It's basically just the same as this one. This one, I think, is a little bit more challenging, though. All right, so this is teaching you how to work your way and manage your way through the periodic table, which is super important to know. So, yeah, keep studying hard. Thank you for coming here. Hopefully this helped. If it did, give this video a like just to, just to see if I'm doing my job right. Um, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you like. That would help us out a lot. I appreciate all you guys. Thank you so much for the support. I'll see you guys in the next question. Bye-bye.